Greetings, everyone. Greetings, greetings. <clears throat> greetings, everyone. Greetings. As the sun rise up and burst through the sky, good, great, grand rising to everyone out there in the world this morning. When just say, you have to just do what just say, don't. That we are doing right now, we just say. Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful morning on the island. Amazing. I love my country so much, man. Wherever you are in the world, you know so your country nice. Work for your country flag, man. Big up your country. Defend your country. Defend your country culture. Your country values. And what it means to be whatever flag you are with. That proudness that you are with it with. This morning, I am waving my Jamaican flag through the sky with blood in my eye. Here, blood in my eye from a country now. So, but they tell the items here only if just say, I'm going to turn on this phone here. So, just say, and this phone here, turn on this morning. For a very serious reason, this phone turned on this morning. Seeing? First of all, let me just say to every single person, we stop and take a look at that video the other day. And really and truly, like for the first time, get introduced to a queen africa in a real life and what queen africa do in a real life seeing i'm so humbled it overwhelmed with humbleness and i really do give thanks because it wasn't the easiest thing for me to do ever probably the hardest thing me ever do in my life is that video that when we release seeing Anyway, this morning is not about nothing to do with that, though. This morning is about the where we are and what I want the item to know a little bit more about me. So, I don't give thanks already for everyone who has seen where I come from and says I'm a joke. It's not a joke to me. has never been. None of what I've ever done has ever been a joke to me. Something when we take deeply serious. And take even more serious now. See? So again, I just want to say to everyone, you know what I mean? Give thanks for the similarities of how we exist as human beings. We share a lot. Some we talk and some we don't, but we share a lot as people in terms of life experiences. We did always know that, and that is why we have always kept it in the real, to say the least. So, this morning, really and truly, footer hype, I just want to say to you, my brethren, give thanks for the reasoning that the eye is putting out there. To say, you know, Queen Africa have been around forever doing this. And is, and is even going to be around even a little bit more now. That my energy is kind of like balanced. My, kinda, my energy kind of balanced out, you know. So, may I go even be that person even more now. 
So me just want to say to footer hype, say, give thanks for your strength, my brethren. But that is not necessarily the kind of strength I'm needing from the eye. Because mental issues is simply that. The mental issue that I am having is that I am living in a country where my government signed a contract to kill one set of people and leave another set. Okay. And I'm now declaring that that set of people is mostly found in our inner city communities here in Jamaica. Our government that is in power now have set up a Illuminati system of governance on the people of the inner city where it's almost as if there is a a prison system set up in the inner cities now. So when you guys out there in the world are asking for Jamaican people, they are deliberately being killed behind the scene by our authorities. That's why you can't see them. That's why you can't hear them. And that is why our voices are now going to be even louder for those people here in Jamaica that you guys are wondering where they are. They are here, but they are being scattered up. So what we're asking, the support I want from you, Futa Hype, is not a Queen Africa Day. I want a let's go for Jamaica Day. Let's stand up fully for Jamaica Day. So I want you, Futa Hype, to investigate the Paramount Chief, Richard Curry, and investigate all those organizations that you're batting for and giving voice for. Investigate the PNP government coming in that the country is about to give the reins of, it, of the island to. Investigate more than talking about what Andrew them doing. Fly come to Jamaica and come see what happened from the rock youth. You cannot stay on your phone in Florida and analyze everything that's happening down here. You have to be on the rock to overs it. So yes, my brethren, I do give thanks for your support. And I give thanks for where you're talking at. And I hear you're calling out the other female artists. And I'm joining you to say to Lady Saw, to say to Spice, to say to Cecile, to say to Tanya Stevens, Marcia Griffiths, Judy Mowat, um, Colleen Davis, Nadine... Sutherland, Jada Kingdom, Shensia, Chanel Muir, B um, Vanessa Bling. The item can put the rest of names of females who are big and prominent in the country. Our women and children in the inner cities need our voices. Um, and it is not a joke anymore. I went to Pampute. I went to Pampute's, um, what you call it, um, treat. She was, I was invited to the treat before all of this that's happening on the internet with my name now. And so I decided that I would still go. And so I went yesterday. And the inner city is dying, people. I'm talking to the diaspora, those who are in the diaspora, I'm, I don't... I really don't have any help in terms of the point that I'm trying to push to say that we need an organization that their main focus is going to be on the in shining light on the injustices that is taking place in the parts of Jamaica that is being hidden from you, the parts of Jamaica that you're looking for, the parts of Jamaica that they are now feeding on TikTok and, and, and apps like those. There, it's it's a delib everything that's happening. It's a deliberate rollout against the people of Jamaica because they know the policeman. When I spoke to him last night, he told me that I wanted to start an insurrection in Jamaica and I want to overthrow the government. And it looked like it's the government I want because I went to speak to him to ask him why are they doing this to the inner city. The youths in the inner city are so angry. They're so mad. It is, and then in the background, they have Valiant Song, a mad me a mad out, a play in the background. So I want to say this this morning to Bobsy Grange, 
Bobsy Grange, you're deliberately doing what you're doing to the, the women and children of Jamaica. You are deliberately doing what you're doing to the children of Jamaica. And I'm calling on you in the name of the Almighty God to stop Miss Bobsy Grange. Take a look at what you are doing in the inner city to the garrison communities. You, are, you all have set up a distraction for the Jamaican people so that everyone who is on the phone and that is in the diaspora, they are not seeing exactly what's happening on the ground here. So I am asking those in the diaspora that really truly love Jamaica and can fly to come to Jamaica, I would invite you to please, if you can come by yourself or come in our group, Come down here and find us and let us take you and show you what is happening down here. And so that we can come together and form the necessary type of advocacy groups that it is going to take to intercept what the, what the opposition and the government is now joined together and doing to Jamaican people in order to create the new Jamaica that they are creating. So, as much as you had authentic people that went to the National Stadium to see Chris Brown the other night, it was a cult event set up to unleash the rest of demons on Jamaica to launch the New World Order officially. I am begging, I'm begging from where I'm sitting. I am, I'm, I'm at my five, for those who have sense, and can follow. I'm in 5D dimension. I am totally clear. All the things that have happened to me in my life have now become a memory to me. The one that I shared with you all the other day was a sad memory to me. It is now a sad memory to me. So I can share it without any repercussions. When I turned my phone off the other day and told you guys that I was going to finish my album, that's what I'm doing. But at the same time, I told you that it was hard to not look at what I am seeing and what the Almighty Creator is showing me. And I am not going to deny it to suit any situation or any outcome that anyone want for Queen Africa. I am in it for the long haul. I am in it for the greater outcome. And all I am asking for now is a solid stand of us, the people, together, standing up in unity and love to save the Jamaicans that will be left behind and turned into slaves when they shall tell you officially what they are doing. They know that this island is an island of revolt. They know that this island has the ability to stand up and let governments everywhere in the world tremble. And they are using all of their powers to suppress the courage of the Jamaican people to fight for themselves and to stand for themselves. This morning, I am sitting here on this live to say and to beg and to beseech of my fellow artists, my fellow bloggers, my fellow police officers, my fellow teachers, my fellow churches, my fellow Rastafarian community to come in a one solid loud voice on behalf of the people of Jamaica who are dying and who are sacrifices for the new Jamaica that they are building now. And if we do not do this before January morning, it is going to be deluge for Jamaican people and those of us who will be able to fly out and will be able to move to the mountains and will be able to have our comforts even while the chaos will take place. My heart will break forever if I sit and allow them to do this to Jamaica people. The Maroons are a part of it, and I'm talking about people like the Akompong Maroons. The Maroons who are a part of the British slave trade is a part of the what is happening to Jamaica. There are artists in the industry who are a part of the Maroon community, and they are using their voices directly to support the system 
against against the people of Jamaica because they have always been hateful and jealous of the people of this country for their strength, their resilience. No matter where you do, Jamaican people, they always stand up and they always fight back with the power of the God that they serve in them. I am begging again. I am beseeching. I am begging you, Spice, in order to save your life, sweetheart. You have to come back to the original baby girl that started out in music. Lady Saw, in order to save your soul, you have to fight for Jamaican people to save your soul. Buju Bantan, to save your soul, you have to fight for Jamaica. Stop cussing them and saying that they don't want to hear you. It's not the people that don't want to hear you. It is the system that is standing in the way of us communicating directly with the people of this country to show them who they are. All that I am asking for the Maroon communities to do is to unite and to show the world that Jamaica has always been one sovereign country before God. One sovereign country before God. The divisions that are set up in this country was set up by the powers that be. Now, all police, all soldiers are recruited out of the Maroon community. You do the maths and you make the separation and see the police that brutalize you and the police that show your kindness. The police that show your kindness is the police that comes from the Jamaican population. The police that is now running the ground with the brute force of hell are the creme de la creme of the maroon community and also imported police force. What I saw in Fletcher's land last night was a prison system that is set up in the inner city. That is why we now hear no cry out of the inner city because they are being silenced while we dance around and laugh around on social media and they are using TikTok I am still calling on Kabu Mahat Keru. If you truly love Jamaican people, Kabu, bring running African into the inner city communities and do running African for the rest of the year from different, different communities and have them come to your program and speak to Kabu Mahat Keru running African program and tell the world what they are experiencing in the inner city and what they would like to see change. Until I see you do that, Kabu Mahat Keru, you're only gathering up the running Africans here on the island who you guys are responsible for. And all of you are planning to use Jamaican people as the fuel to your kingdoms. And you have drained out most of Jamaican people battery and now they're almost at the point of extinction. So I am asking to the powers of the divine almighty creator who governs all things. To you people out there who can do something to help Jamaican people from what is happening right now in front of our faces. We are all going to be doomed very shortly. If we do not stand up right now, Graham Smargan, I see you busy under here making comments. You're all, we said that the good Morgan should shub out the bad Morgans. We're calling on all the good last name in the families to stand up. All the good Jamaicans in Jamaica who had a good intention for the country but was pushed back, was discouraged, was moved aside. Come back now. Right now, Jamaica need us right now. Let us form an alliance. The next thing I am going to do, and when I call all you guys, I'm asking you to come out and to support it. We need a free gospel show before the end of this year. So, Miss Bobsy Grange, I am coming to you to ask you for the necessary permits so that I can be granted the opportunity to put up a PA system somewhere and call Chevelle Franklin 
and call Jeremy and Edwards, call Rhoda Isabella, call the Revival, call the Poco, call the Naya Bingi, call the 12 tribes of Israel, call the church, call all the stakeholders to this free concert of pushing back the devil stopping the devil's reign in the country the only way to do it is to draw closer to the almighty whoever you conceive the almighty to be now is the moment hurt has no defense i am standing up as a biological woman in defense of earth in defense of the woman's womb in defense of the right to reproduce and to replenish nature and to exalt the almighty creation it can only be done by us jamaicans Lo look at what our pledge said we are supposed to advance we are supposed to advance the whole human race jamaican people that is why sizzla caperton anthony b i win spraga ben's baby they're trying to make it look like i'm trying to diss you i love you spraga ben's i need you spraga ben's i need you we need to stand together right now so that Jamaica can see us stand together. There has always been a narrative that has been shaped over the years that Jamaicans do not love what is good for them. And I'm telling you the world today as Jamaica is at the point of dying, that that is the biggest lie that has ever been told on Jamaican people, that they do not like goodness. And so what they have done, they have drive the fear of hell into the hearts of Jamaican people so that they don't want to support the people that they know are good for them because they are forced to support the ones that have always and only been bad for them. And now we have the opportunity to shape and to rechange and to change the narrative that has been set. And it's un it is unfortunate that I have to use a page like this that they are shadow banning that they are not sending through the algorithms. If I never had people on here who saw what I'm doing and is willing to help and to share the light that we are trying to shine on behalf of our country, the people would not know what's happening. So I'm also calling on the bloggers on the internet that don't hate Jamaica and hate the fact that they have a black skin to stand up on behalf of us Stand up and push out the bad blog of them who only pushing the negatives of the country. Stand up and use your platforms them to help the people to understand a little bit more than what is being fed to them. There is so much distraction being fed and the truth of the people is buried. Footer hype, I'm going to say to you again. I said to you on the chat the day that you chat too much. Because I need you to go and look a little bit more. Stop analyzing stuff that you're regurgitating on the internet. And really and truly look at the purpose that you're serving. As a man, you, we need a man to not try to figure out whether Queen Africa is mad. But a man who must solidly now stand up and say, Queen Africa couldn't mad if all these years... At this alone she been saying and now that she have come and given the reason or one of one of the reason for my passion i don't expect you to, to be pushing a mental issue narrative around my name same way footer hype it is giving personal vendetta vibes it is giving still in my feelings vibes so i am just helping you to clear your mind my sweet black man with the big foot, with the big cocky for back it. Say, I know you love vagina and you want the queen to stand up and defend vagina. But I'm not just defending vagina for people like yourself to have sex with it. I'm defending it because it is representation. The first representation of Mother Earth is my vagina. It's the first portal. All portals were replica. Were replica. 
were, 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 were replicated from the female vagina. Our vagina is the first portal. All other else portal in started from the female vagina so i know that you're defending the vagina because of the sweetness that you get from it and your sister queen africa defend the manhood the strength of the khaki because it's the two tools that ja give man and woman to defend earth with to reproduce and replenish so my brethren this is going to be the final time i'm going to address you in this kind of way you, you, you have not reached out to me privately, my brethren footer. You have my number, dude. You haven't reached out to me to say, Queen, you know, as a brethren, I check in upon you, but you're busy on the internet calling Queen Africa Day. I love the Queen Africa Day, by the way, guys. I'll run up top them picture yet, you know, run go put up in a picture card. Not, not, not wrong with that. People like us need some of them support. Not when we're dead, but when we're alive. We know, so we are give everything for this. And a joke we are doing about our frustration. We are sure you said there is a solution. You can overcome your darkness. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstances. No matter how dark the issue that you just experience is, as long as you do the right things and take the right approaches to what your mental development really means to you, you will be on your way to becoming your purpose self and living in the purpose that God has intended you to live in in the first place. So what I want for my brethren on the front line, like Futa Hype to do, is to get your brethren them in the inner city for company your life and come tell the world what is happening in the inner city with them. What the cops are doing to them in there so that the people can see that there is really a Jamaica. And call Richard Curry them and tell them to bring the coming and bring the peace from up in their compound hills. Bring it into the inner city. Don't wait until all of you know and get rid of out there. Then you know come for the ones them who wounded and left behind and can't do no better. So them are going to surrender to you know. But do it now when the pot are boil. There is a pot boiling in the inner city at the point of boiling over. The little Chris Brown won't not care around for test the ground and for see what go on with Jamaica people. That not going to work because we are all watching you guys tear us down in a subliminal way and we're saying now we're standing all up you remember where the song say tony rebel write it when the role is call up i'll be standing tall up to face he wrote it for anti marcia but he was re he was writing about me because i was in the household doing it i was taking care of the children thereof and dealing with all the issues but if required I would have been on the front line and I am letting you know now without any water in my mouth that I am officially on the front line with no joke behind it, brawling as the sun we are bursting on my head back. Say, there has to be a solution for some of our brothers and sisters who have been suffering through generation after generation by generational curses that have been set up in our lives to keep us the way we are so that now we are so saturated that the system is now making their ultimate move to finally enslave us once and for all because we have lost and lost all our souls and all our values and all our morals. Cecile, I don't know if I call your name yet. All the names when them come to my mind, I'm calling all you who are big and who have a platform to rescue our children with your voices. You don't have to speak as raw and as brawling as Queen Africa does. But use, get more louder for the children. Set up TikTok accounts and go over there. When I was at Pompote Treat last night, someone on the stage said, Let me see the hands of all of those who are on TikTok and Jamaica and the world. Every child that was in there put up them on in the air because them have a TikTok account. Now you understand when I'm talking to my beautiful newbie and goddess sister in, in Trinidad, Nikki Minaj, say, please, my beautiful sister, 
pay attention to what you're associating in my country with because we are under pressure down here from the demons of hell who have found that the ground is unoccupied. There is no one to defend Jamaican people. So they are having a field day with our people down here. The devil is having a field day. And we need intervention right now. Mark Golden, you are not leading at your will. You are leading to letting the PNP. And when the PNP come in, the Illuminati members of the PNP will take it over. And Jamaica will see the most Illuminati government of all Illuminati government. If Andrew Olness remains in power, he will want to prove that he can be the best Illuminati leader anyone could ever see anywhere in the world that is why he has now sent the same mechanisms that they have used on the jamaican people to suppress them they have sent the blueprint to 80 to to to, to use it on 80 but i'm telling you here right now that this, the methods that were used on jamaica are that they think are that they think and thought has worked on Jamaica, has not worked on Jamaica, Andrew. So you might have to send back for that blueprint that you sent to Haiti of how to control gangs. The people in the inner city communities are human being with flesh and blood, real, authentic, bright-minded people who all they want is an opportunity to show that they can be people to take a chance on. They are worthy of the chance that we are supposed to take on them collectively as a people. Simon Cooper, Simon Clark Cooper at TVJ. Dean Jackson Miller, you sold us out. You are the head of the media. And you took the gag order against Jamaican people. TVJ. Our national station that we look to for all information and all hope. TVJ, Jamaica, you have sold us out. TVJ, Jamaica, you have sold out the Jamaican people for the gay agenda. You have stopped pushing the culture of Jamaica. Miss Kitty. Your truth have been compromised. You are now only batting for the system and using the language of the people. I've loved you all these years. I've sat down with you. We have had lunches together. And all I've ever, this is for Miss Kitty, all I've ever been telling you over the years is that voice that you have belongs only to the people of Jamaica. And I noticed that Christopher Tufton took you. And had you made a lot of Jamaican people took that vaccine. And now they are going to use you guys again now to take a second, a second, whatever the second phase is. They are about to use you guys again as, the, as they call you guys. They are key influencers. Jamaica needs you key influencers. Jamaica needs all the key influencers if your purpose is not to uplift the minds of our young people the system is using you to bring them and to keep them where them there as the names them coming on my head as who they have as key influencers of this country when covid came along you guys said that you were going to activate your key influencers big a you're still the pan radio elise you still the parade, the DJ Sunshine. You need to come out and tell the people them the truth about that story that is circulating that about us. You need to tell them how we met and why did you love Queen Africa so much. You need to Sunshine talk that part of the truth. If you guys don't, I will when the appropriate time come. I am saying all these things because I am not filtered anymore. I am not in a careless mode. I am not going to make people continue to judge who I am. I am declaring who I am with no fear or favor. I have no alliance but with the God Almighty Creator 
who I conceive to be his imperial majesty and priorly Celestia, if the white man have a God, the black man must have a God, and my next alliance is the people of this country, and I am calling on all the people who truly love a God that they call Jesus, the ones that really love that man that they call Jesus for real, that's the alliance we are looking for and we by we i mean the people of this country who are dying because of lack of access to the almighty gina jennings pastor gina jennings i am calling on you pastor chambers i am calling on you pastor stewart i am calling on you pastor lewis I am calling on all the authentic pastors of this country to drop the stage in the middle of halfway tree before January morning. December must be a month of praise to the Almighty to stop the world order. We need to stop the new world order, Jamaican people, and we need to stop the new world order right now. Andre Stevens, if you want me support, you have to kill the devil in you, youth. You have to turn back the devil out of you. You have to declare why you became a homosexual to the Jamaican people. And you have to declare why you want to remain a, a homosexual to the Jamaican people. So that the Jamaican people can fully understand where you're coming from. Nadine Spence, you are the woman at the helm of the restructuring of our constitution put on a public forum invite the public to come here the contents of the constitution and also give them the opportunity us as jamaicans should be calling for the altering of this election that's coming up in february because it will be the election that will doom you and your oldness, you cannot rule us down here because you do not have a heart in your body. You have given away your heart and replaced it with the agenda that they have given you. And all you can see now is the agenda that you are given and the task that you are given. You have given a task to kill Jamaican people and kill them physically and kill them spiritually. But you cannot do it in a blatant sense. So you are setting them up to shape the narrative of how they will die. I am asking you again, sir, as I've been asking you from the day I came to the education ministry with Tony Rebel. I said to you, Jamaica need a leader that will speak for them for real and that will love them and give them the justice that their ancestors and their ancestors before their ancestors have been standing in the way and begging for. You promised from your education minister that you would be the difference. And this difference that you have become and that you have now been standing solidly be beside Mr. Olness is the mark of the beast in the clearest sense of any word to see a leader in a time like this when black people in general need strong leaders to watch you stand up and do this to black people in an island that every other black people everywhere around the world has looked to for this type of guidance all of their generations to generations you are now signing us up to be the ultimate example of how you turn free-minded people into slaves and you thinking that those of us who have the ability to see what you're doing you're thinking that we're going to sit here and not use our voices in the best way we can to highlight to the people the urgency of the situation that we are in right now. That if all of us as stakeholders don't stand up in a loud voice right now and say, yes, God, yes, to your will and to your way. Yes, we will trust you and obey with our whole hearts. We agree and we will say yes. Yes, most High creator, yes, we are standing solidarity, in solidarity, solidly with you, almost. Oh